That's we'll pretty. also notice that we have some hazy conditions due to that Saharan dust. So if you have any respiratory issues, just keep that in mind. Try to limit your outdoor activities. Right now, there's a view from our Key West camera, mix of sun and clouds. Want to step out of the way? Look at this gorgeous shot of a double rainbow. Can you see them? Okay, so here's one and here's number two. That's from our viewer, Joel Cavallo, who also happens to be a U.S. Navy veteran. So, Joe, we not only thank you for your service, but we thank you for showing us this view from Fountain Blue in Miami, and we look forward to receiving many more beautiful weather photos like this from you. You can send your photos, cbs 4 pics at cbs.com. So there you see that we had some spotty showers earlier, and thankfully now the radar is quiet for us. All the action is well to our west, and the breeze out of the east-southeast, 12-16 miles an hour. Temperatures in the upper 80s in Fort Lauderdale, Miami. We're seeing 91 in Pompano Beach and Key West. Now when you add in that humidity, it feels like the triple digits out there, so the heat is certainly on. As we take a look at the rest of the U.S., quite active, stretching from the Tennessee Valley up through parts of the Great Lakes region and the Midwest. Right now, there is a risk for severe storms, a slight risk from Oklahoma through parts of Kansas, Missouri, even uh, Arkansas. So we're going to continue to see that threat for severe weather across much of the central and southern plains. In the meantime, monitoring this tropical wave 750 miles east-southeast of the Windward Islands that is moving west-northwest, Hurricane Center is giving this a low potential, a 20% chance of cyclone development over the next five days. And of course, we'll continue to watch it. It'll likely bring some nasty weather to parts of the Windward Islands. So subtropical storm Ernesto, let me just tell you, this is not a threat to land. It is moving northeast at 16 miles an hour, and it'll continue to weaken into a post-tropical cyclone as we head into tomorrow. And Saharan dust, we talked about that earlier and why the skies are a little hazy, that filtered sunshine. But despite that filtered sunshine, the highs in the low 90s and feeling like the hundreds, there could be a few showers because of the fact that we have that onshore breeze. But the models are showing that most of the rest of the day looking quiet. Maybe this evening we could see a shower pop up along the coast. And for boaters, winds east, southeast, 10 to 50 knots, seas 2 to 3. A moderate chop on the base tonight, spotty showers, warm and muggy with 80. And as we head into the weekend, it will stay sizzling. Highs in the low 90s with a mix of sun and some scattered showers as the Miami Dade students head back to school on Monday. Well, you know it'll be hot and steamy. Highs will be in the low 90s with a potential for some spotty storms, Maribel.